Hello. Welcome to the Stations of the Cross during the pandemic of COVID-19 coronavirus. We record these Stations of the Cross for you during this time that we are separated. And uh, as the three linked parishes of Holy Rosary, St. Anne and St. Peter and Paul, I'd like to welcome you to pray these stations with us. I'm Deacon Pat Kneer. I'm assigned as a deacon uh, for those three parishes. And uh, I hope we can pray this together and I hope we come together soon after this pandemic is done. And we ask our Lord to be with us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, we offer our prayers to you today for our world, our country, our state, and our local community. As we meditate on your sacred passion, may we take the pain and needs of all humanity and pray through your suffering for your creation, your people whom you love. In your precious name we pray, amen. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you were held captive and given a death sentence. This was truly undeserved, but nonetheless it was still carried out, even though you were innocent. There are thousands upon thousands in our world today who have been held captive not knowing what their fate will be. People on cruise ships, hotels, cities, neighborhoods, those moved to military containment, people confined to their own homes and those in isolation. They also are innocent victims, victims of a disease that cannot be seen, tasted, or felt. We also pray for those in jails and prisons, immigration holding areas, and those who work there so that everyone's health is protected. We pray for them. Allow them to feel your presence and watch over them. Holy Spirit, give them peace. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you were given a cross, a heavy load filled with the pain, death, and suffering of all humanity. The separation of our lives from yours through sin must have been a pain almost too heavy to bear. Was the separation, death, and sickness the world feels now from this virus a part of the cross you carried? May we depend on your love and your carrying of the cross to carry us through these times of the unknown. Watch over us, Holy Spirit. Show us how to accept the cross of this pandemic and move forward. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you fell underneath the burden of the cross and the pain of your wounds. The road was not an easy path. 
And all of that brought you unexpectedly to your knees. This cor cor coronavirus was unexpected and has brought our world, our nation, our community to its knees in trying to fight this invisible, the disease that is not always the same from person to person. Country after country is falling, but just as you did not give up, neither does humanity that you created. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, with your help, may the world be given the wisdom to stand strong against this disease. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your mother loved you, and you loved her. Meeting her with you when you were so fragile and so worn had to be difficult. May all families in our world, in our nation, in our community come together and bond and help each other in this time of trial. May the time we are together in our homes be considered a blessing so that we can get to know each other and care for each other in a more complete and loving way. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, bind us tighter and help us to feel comfortable with each other again. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth station, Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Caused by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, the cross was heavy and you were slowing down. Simon was told to help you, and you humbly accepted his help. We know in this time of pandemic, each country is testing and working hard to fight the virus, to heal its citizens and to find a vaccine or medication that will help. We pray for those in the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control, and our president and all elected officials to make wise decisions to benefit all. May the government leaders and medical teams of all the world's nations be willing and able to share information with each other so that together with the guidance of your Holy Spirit, we may come to know what works and how to safely handle this cross of illness. Watch over them. Through their service, may they bring healing. Holy Spirit, guide them. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, blood, sweat, and dirt covered your face and eyes, and it was becoming difficult to see where you were going. When your face was wiped with gentleness and out of love and care, you had a small moment of relief. We look for ways to relieve anxiety and fear in all people and for ways to protect and send information without panic and anger. We hold in prayer 
all of our clergy who meet the sick daily and pray and anoint them. Keep them safe. We pray for the medical community that cares for the sick and puts an endless and often thankless hours of vigilance. Keep them safe and give them wisdom. May each country's attempt to curb the growth of the virus be lessons for the world community. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, help us to trust and not be filled with fear. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, weakness again overcomes you, and you fall under the weight of a cross that you bore on our behalf. We pray in respect to the weakness of our health and care, our health care and the governmental systems, in the ability to fight this unknown entity of coronavirus. We have never experienced something like this, and we need your help in combating it. We are stronger when we are unified rather than fighting from within over policies and procedures. Help us to identify our weaknesses and repair them and work together for the good of all humanity. Watch over us, unite us. Holy Spirit, Inspire us to set aside differences and help to rise to the occasion to do your work here on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, some of your friends were reaching out to you in your greatest time of need. In these challenging times, we see instances of family and friends helping one another. We see friends and strangers alike taking it upon themselves to feed children who will not eat due to school closures by providing lunches for them. We see medical professionals putting themselves in the line of every day taking care of the sick, often not knowing if the illness that is being presented is serious or common cold. We hold in prayer all those in our town who are con concerned for their loved ones and do everything that they can to protect them. Watch over them. Encourage them. Holy Spirit, give them an understanding of hope. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your pain from your head to your feet was burning and overwhelming. It took immense concentration to put one foot in front of the other, and your pain was so intense that you fell again. No one can imagine what you were going through. We have a hard time understanding that we are living in this day and age 
where a virus is making the world stand still. We pray for those in our world who are trying to take advantage of others by hoarding items or trying to sell needed medical items at outrageous prices. This instills panic and frustration and anger. Watch over us. Change hearts. Holy Spirit, convict their hearts so that they stop unfair practices. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, when you were stripped of your clothing, you were mocked and debased. We have seen instances of those who are being mocked in profiling for this virus. We ask forgiveness for times when we have been afraid of someone because of their culture, their ethnicity, their age, or their income level. We are all your children, and we must treat one another with dignity and care. We pray for those in our world, country, town, who are some of the most vulnerable to this virus. Those who have underlying health concerns, the aged and those with disabilities. Watch over them, build them up. Holy Spirit, open our eyes to any treatment that is unfair and prejudicial. Give us courage to stand up for those in need. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you were nailed to the cross and raised high for all to see and to condemn. Your suffering and dying tore through your body with every breath that you took. Your mother never left you, and a few of your friends stood by and held vigil for you. Even in your pain, you reached out to the thief next to you and assured him of salvation. We also seek assurance in this time, and may, some may feel afraid of the death of their comfort. Life as we knew it weeks ago has changed all over the world. Help us to find insurances in you. You have promised that we are not alone. May all understand this and recognize your presence. Watch over all of them, unite them, and Holy Spirit, may they see Christ in each other. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your death was a pain-filled sacrifice. You died for each one of us. Unselfish, humble, perfect, and complete was your surrender. 
Your death freed us from the pain of eternal separation from you. We pray for those in our world, nation, state, and community who have died from or will succumb to the coronavirus. We pray that all the souls of the faithful departed through your mercy and your goodness may be united with you. Holy Spirit, may they be at rest in the knowledge of their worth. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, <coughs> because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your body was removed from the cross, and your mother was there to accept your broken and lifeless body. Her grief, sorrow, and confusion may have been coupled with fear and anger. Yet she had hope. She knew you and she loved you and was filled with hope. She did not understand what that hope consisted of, but knew that you would not leave those you loved abandoned and alone. As people become sick with this unknown virus, we grieve for those who die. We too live in a time of sadness and confusion in a time of fear and anger. We look to your mother, O Blessed Mother, as a model of hope in the face of the unknown. Watch over us. Mary, Mother, please pray for us. Holy Spirit, help us to find hope in the darkest of times, because we know we are never abandoned, especially during these times of great need. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> the fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, your body was put to rest in a new tomb given to your mother for your burial. This was the moment of complete separation of you and her. We pray for those in our world, nation, state, and local community who feel or will feel complete separation because of this virus. We must separate ourselves in social distancing. We separate ourselves from those who are sick. We stay in our homes afraid to move out of our safe zones and are being told to hunker down. Separation may be frightening and lonely, but it is also a blessed time for healing. We pray for those who have no place where they may keep safe and cared for those who are homeless. We pray for those who reside and work in shelters. We pray for all those who feel complete separation in this world because of death. Holy Spirit, please make your presence known to us in a special way when we feel alone. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The 
15th station, the resurrection. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, humanity could not imagine the joy and the wonder you were going to give us in your resurrection from the dead. You are a God of the unexpected. We could never even begin to foresee or imagine that you had in, what you had in store for all the people across the world and across all time. Your resurrection is the ultimate hope, the ultimate healing, the ultimate salvation for all. May we turn to you, not only in this time of need of the present, but also in the joy of the coming future, when the cloud before us has been cleared. Help us then to have a better understanding of not only each other, but how you guided, you loved, you healed, and you journeyed with us in constant companionship, never leaving us and always hearing our prayers and our cries. Your resurrection speaks of hope and of what is yet to come. We pray for Pope Francis, our bishop, and all of our clergy and all in ministry, for our parishes and all who walk this journey of the unknown with us. May we unite in the near future to share in the wonder of your glory, shining through it all and bringing us to the other side. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, enliven our faith and help us not to give up. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.